Hey guys, it's Hank here, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to recover from a forgotten Windows password. So you may uh, have locked yourself out of your Windows operating system, and you can't um, log into Windows, and that can be a very bad thing that when you uh, forget your password. So uh, on this virtual computer here, um, I've I'm going to pretend that I for completely forgot my password and I've completely locked myself out of the computer. Now, of course, when you reboot the system, you're going to get prompted to enter your password. And if you forgot it, you can't get back into the desktop. Well, there is a way of fixing this problem, but you're going to need a, another computer. You're going to have to also have a blank DVD. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using something called Glassoft uh, Recovery Suit. And we're going to use uh, its password recovery feature to uh, recover and reset this password. Um, we don't know the password, so we can't do anything on this computer right now. So what we have to do is we have to get onto another computer, download some software, create ourselves a boot CD, and then we have to erase the password using the boot CD that we're gonna create. So what you guys are gonna need to do is you're gonna need a second computer that has an internet connection that can download a program and you're also going to need either a USB stick or a blank DVD. It's very, very easy. You can get blank DVDs at uh, your local shop in a package them. Get blank DVD RWs. So uh, that's what you're going to need to do this. So, all right. So we're going to pretend here that we're at our other computer here. And just so for those of you that don't know what blank DVDs look like, they're called so many things, but uh, DVD RWs. Um, uh, they look like this. You can get these at a local shop. If you don't have any of these, you can also use a USB stick if you have them. So uh, that's what you guys are going to need before you can recover your password if you locked yourself out. So uh, now getting on to the video, we're going to pretend that this computer here is a, the second computer. So logging on to another computer, what you're going to do is you're going to open up the browser. And we're going to do a search on it. On, on another computer here, we're going to do a search for last soft recovery suit. We're going to go to their link, their website here, and here's their website here: free data and Windows system recovery suit that when every Windows user should have. Um, you're going to come down here to the free download link, and you're going to click download. It's going to take you to download.com. Just download this software. Make sure you save it to your desktop. So uh, we're just letting the file download right now. Alright, so once that file is downloaded, you can go ahead and close out of the browser. And we'll run the, run the program. Just want to click next, accept the user agreement, keep clicking next, and install it. Alright, so once that's installed, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking on this USB icon here, right here. Um, and you can see here that this program does more than just password recovery. It does Windows recovery, data recovery, disk image and clone, and password recovery as well. So uh, this this program here does way more than just recover passwords. But anyhow, what you're going to do is you're going to click the USB icon here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we uh, select the version of Windows that are, we locked ourselves out of. So uh, in my case, it was Windows 7. So... Uh, Whatever version of Windows that your passwords locked, you locked yourself out of, just select your version of Windows and click Next. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to check mark ISO image. We're going to click Browse, and we're just going to save it. And what this is going to do is it's going to create us a, an ISO image that we can burn onto a blank DVD. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to save this ISO file to anywhere on the computer. You can put it in Documents, Downloads, or Desktop, whatever you wish. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And uh, you can name this whatever you want. You don't even have to change the name. Just click Save. So now we'll save this ISO file to our desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to click Start. And that's going to go ahead and start creating ourselves up an ISO file. And when we do that, once that's done, we're going to download and burn that ISO image onto a blank DVD. And then we're going to repair the other computer that we locked ourselves out of with this DVD that we're creating. So uh, right now we just have to let this make ourselves an ISO file up. So uh, while that's done, I'll pause the video. Alright, so once that's done, you'll get a message saying the ISO image was completed successfully. And you're going to click OK. And it will uh, take you to your desktop. And uh, if you don't know, what we're going to have to do now is we're go you're going to have to, uh, if you see here on the desktop, if you move this window aside, you'll see here that you have a file called isboot.iso. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that file. And burn it. Let's see, actually. So it's a .iso file. So what you're going to do is you're going to burn that ISO file onto a DVD. Uh, to do that, it's actually really easy to do. If you click back, um, well, it, won't work, it won't let me. But uh, what you want to do is if you if you do a search for. Uh, Actually, if you do a search for image burn on Google search, we'll do it this way. Just do a Google search for something called image burn. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to just download a copy of image burn. For, and it's a free download. I'll have the link for this in the description box. Um, you want to select your language when you're on this website. Um, Anyhow, download a copy of ImageBurn, and what ImageBurn is, is just a program that we can use to burn the ISO file to a DVD, that's how it is going to be used for. So, uh, yeah, download yourself a copy of ImageBurn and install it. As you can see here, it tried to put in a <laughs> PUV into the installation. Anyhow, click Next, Next, and uh, install ImageBurn. Once you've installed ImageBurn on your system, you can now close out of image the installation. And when you installed ImageBurn, what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, I guess, search for it where it is installed to. All right, open it up, and when you open it up, Image Burn here, it's very simple to use. You're going to put in your blank DVD into your computer, or if you're going to use the USB stick, you'll have to use a USB stick instead, and you'll be able to write it there. But uh, in this case, we're doing a DVD, so insert the blank DVD into your computer. I'm not going to do it. I've already got a DVD made it up. Click Write Image to Disk. Make sure you have your DVD drive selected. And then under source, this is where it's important. You want to open source. You want to click desktop and then locate that ISO file in which you've created. Once you do that and you click burn, it will write that to the DVD and then you're all good. So once you've burned the file to the DVD, what you're going to do is you're going to read up on these documents, how to boot from a DVD or a CD. Because if you don't know how to do that, you're not going to know how to boot up the computer that you're trying to recover the password off off a DVD. So I strongly recommend you visit these websites and learn, first of all, how to uh, boot your computer up off a DVD. It will explain for you how to do it. But uh, I already know how to do it. It's too hard to explain because every computer is going to be different. But uh, f from this point on, once you've created the DVD, you're going to go back to the computer that you locked yourself out of. And... Uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, 
restart the computer and put in the DVD that you made and restart the system. So we're back on the computer here that we locked ourselves out and we'll just make sure that we can't log in just to make sure. So here is where we're going to fix this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer and uh, we're going to boot off the DVD. All right. So that's it restarting. And uh, I'll pause the video here in a second. I just have to configure my VM or something. All right, so the VM computer is rebooted here. So as I said, you're going to have to know how to boot from a, a DVD. So assuming that you have you, on your other computer, you got your DVD you created and inserted into the computer, you're going to uh, boot off the DVD instead of the hard drive. So here we go. We've just restarted the rebooted. And uh, instead of booting into Windows, we're going to choose our CD-ROM drive. That, and uh, we'll click Enter. And uh, here it is. Here is the actual uh, recovery console that we have. So you can see here we have the option using the arrow keys for uh, last off uh, live CD EMS enabled and Windows recovery diagnostics. Using the arrow keys, we're going to make sure we're selecting live C CD EMS enabled and click enter. And that will start up the boot CD here. And uh, once it loads, uh, we'll show you how to recover the password with it. It's very easy to do. So once you get to this screen, you're in good shape. You just have to let it do its thing. And uh, yeah, so if you couldn't get to, as far as this, as far as booting off the DVD, um, you're going to have to uh, check my other video on my channel. I've explained how to boot off a DVD. You may need to push F2 or something when you start the computer up or whatever your, the key is to boot from a DVD. So yeah, check that out if you can't boot yourself into this DVD. All right, so now we've booted into our boot CD that we made. And uh, what we're going to be do what when it boots up, we're going to be interested in, in the uh, password recovery here. Now you can see here this program has a lot of different options, Windows recovery, data recovery, image and disk and clone and all kinds of stuff. That's good if you're trying to back up your computer that you've, you're locked out of or say your computer couldn't boot up and you locked yourself out. That's good for that. But in this case, we're just going to be interested in the password recovery. So what we're going to do is click password recovery. And uh, right here, we're going to go and, and click next. And uh, once we do that, we're going to make sure we have our operating system selected. It already found Windows 7 here for us. And uh, make sure it's under Reset Local Password, which is right there. Just click Next. And in here, you'll find the user account and uh, that you have. So the one that you want to select the user account that you are, that you in which you've uh, locked yourself out of. And uh, make sure you've selected it, highlighted it. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to click Next. And uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to click reset and unlock. Once you click reset and unlock, it's going to reset your password. It's going to say the password reset successfully. Click OK. And then you can now click finish. And now we're going to reboot the computer. And uh, you can now take out the CD and uh, reboot into Windows like you normally done it do. And if you've done this correctly, now you may or may not have a warning saying Windows was unable to start successfully. That's probably because you just booted off a DVD, but that's all right. Just use the arrow keys, start Windows normally. And when you boot back into your operating system, you shouldn't be prompted to enter the password anymore. You should go right into your desktop. And uh, that is how you reset the, the Windows password if you lock yourself out. So uh, we're just booting up into the OS here. And you'll see here, once we boot up, that we're not being prompted to enter the password anymore. And it should be all good. Just give it a second to load up. So now we're loading into Windows, and here's where it normally asks us to re for our password. Right now, we're not going to be prompted for the password. We basically reset it. And uh, if it if we've done this right, we should go right to our desktop. Just give it a minute. And as you see here, we went right to our desktop. No password was required. And uh, after you do that, if you want, you can go ahead and reset your password to what you want. So you click Control Panel. 
Um, when you open up the control panel, user account and family settings, click control panel, user accounts, and in here you can see that the password's been cleared. And if you want to reset your password, you can just click create a password for the account and put in the new password and then click create password. All right. But if you guys are forgetting your passwords, I strongly recommend maybe you don't have a password on your account so you don't run into that problem again. But uh, once you're back into your computer, you can go into here and reset your password to whatever you want and you're all good. So thanks for watching the video. I hope this has helped you and uh, remember to comment, write, and subscribe.